What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today, I've got some more Civ 5 Brave New World playing as California going. And last episode, we were finishing up connecting our road here from Sacramento to San Francisco. We do have to choose new production for Los Angeles down here, our third city. And if I take a look here, uh, what do we want? The library would be nice because that would be a nice science boost for us. Uh, the greenery... I was gonna add. It's gonna continue to add into that uh, that growth, which is good. But on the other hand, you've got to uh, sort of play your happiness card the right way. We've currently at plus seven happiness, which is a lot, but uh, well, it's not a lot, but it's it's decent. And uh, so I want to sort of sit on those as my uh, cities continue to grow here. We're currently ranked number one out of all the known civilizations. We only know about five so far. I think I picked a, an eight civilization match for this go around in this campaign but uh you can see here we're currently number one uh with who we know about uh we're friends with venice uh last episode they conquered sidon here which is sort of annoying because it looks like they're gonna get the natural wonder here get the science boost um a plus three science boost if they work the tile so that's gonna put me behind slightly in uh, in terms of research with them We'll have to try to make it up. We've got thir plus 33 science right now. Uh, if I look at the technologies, I have 18 technologies. Russia has 17. Venice also has 18. Uh, the most well-fed people, us. Average food surplus, we're ranked number three there. And we finished up ironworking, so that's good. Uh, we're currently friends with Venice. Uh, we are friendly with Russia, but... We're not, uh, we don't have a declaration of friendship out there or anything. Uh, they got pissed off at me a couple episodes ago because we're pushing up here against St. Petersburg. We've pushed our borders. I did that sort of by design to stop their, um, spread here, at least towards the west. And Venice, I think, only has two cities between Sidon and then their capital, of course. So, uh, we do need to pick a new research. So, I was thinking about going with guilds and getting into the medieval era. I have no horses, so I don't really need to worry about chivalry right away. So I need to really either slope down this way or go this way. Either way, we, we are going to need engineering to move forward, and we are going to need drama and poetry to move forward. So uh, let's go with the engineering next. We'll grab that. I only have two iron, so I think that's only going to let me upgrade. Yeah, I can upgrade this warrior here to a swordsman. Uh, how about my composite bowmen? No, I can't really upgrade them either. I do have three composite bowmen and one warrior. Is that it? That is it. I currently don't have any horses. Alright, so our uh, gold is now back in a surplus of plus three since uh, we did connect San Fran to Sacramento. And it looks like Russia is going to use that uh, as a trade route for me. Buenos Aires targets nearby encampment. Okay. We are protecting the city state of Mombasa, Congo. Forgot about that. Uh, unit needs orders. We're going to tell you just to fortify back up until I need you. We did discover a new barbarian camp. That is really far away. A little too far for my uh, caring, I guess. It would be helpful to get this little iron patch here. It's only two iron, but uh, this campaign, we are running short of iron strategic resources in general, I guess. Um, but I do have a lot of luxury resources and food. Let's hit next turn. Continue. Uh, Songhai, let's see. Pleasure working with you, friend. What brings you to my court? Goodbye. I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to show you guys the capital of Songhai here. It's only a level 5 city. He does have uh, spices. Oh, nice. We just entered a golden age. He does have spices and cotton and horses. So he's got uh, some interesting resources kind of opposite of me. San Francisco has now grown to a level 8 city. Still behind the growth of Sacramento, but that's a pretty nicely sized city there. Um, I do have the deer for extra food and bison. So it's providing a lot of growth for the city. 
And I do have this uh, this mine over here. It's giving me three hammers for towards production. Only one more turn, and we'll have a new spearman unit ready. I think I'm going to post him up here on the border uh, between St. Petersburg and myself. So Next turn. Engineering, we have three turns left until that finishes out. And it looks like I am getting a science, a couple science tiles here in Sacramento. Um, yeah, my, my research bumped up to plus 42. That is awesome. All right, the Spearman is ready. Only have two trade routes available at the moment. Um, and I don't have any luxury. I don't really have any reason to build any anything naval at this point. Maybe a trade, maybe a uh, cargo ship at some point. But uh, All right, let's go ahead. Uh, plus six gold. Plus two science. That's what I want. Get that extra science boost from trading with Sidon there. I should build walls at some point. That does remind me. Choose production for San Fran. Walls? How about some walls? Yeah. Temple. It's going to give us that extra faith. Uh, let's go with market and temple following that. So walls, market, temple. Uh, we are building the Oracle here in Sacramento. Okay, and Venice wants a trade deal. So I trade copper for 105 gold straight payment and horses for 30 turns. Man. I will accept that. That's a good deal because I get a nice lump sum and I didn't have any horses before. So, what that means is we need to, as soon as the Oracle is finished up here in Sacramento, we need to build a couple of horsemen units while I can. Catherine has completed the Great Wall, so that's good. That means the Oracle is still available out there. And since she completed the Great Wall, she got her borders covered. You can see it. Nice. That's going to be a problem if I ever choose to attack St. Petersburg. That's a real... Huh, we are really rubbing up against each other there, for sure. That's okay. Because uh, now we can just expand this way inwards. Which it's not going to really yield me a ton of productive tiles in here as it's mostly desert, wasteland type shit. Alright, Spearman, you guys can fortify. Chill out. Till next time. Next turn again. We have gained some points on Catherine there. Looks like we're a good 75 or so points ahead of her. Engineering, you've researched a new technology. May purchase with faith. Okay. We'll need to check that out here in a second, but uh, while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and finish out... Drama and poetry. This is going to sling us into the medieval era. All right, what can we purchase with faith exactly? A missionary that's going to help me spread um, the religion. It'll let me pick up a couple of points. Uh, if I go here to San Fran, yeah, is that all I can purchase with? Faith, it looks like that's all I can purchase. We might as well do it then because I need to spread my religion to San Fran and Los Angeles. Uh, last episode, we created Tengrilism. It's our holy city at the capital there of Sacramento. Doesn't look like... Uh, uh, we also have an opportunity to spread religion to St. Petersburg and Moscow. Which will be sweet. Good way to gain some points. Oh, we did pick up a uh, a new ocean tile there. Just one apple for food. And Sacramento also grew to a level 9 city. Alright, so Caravan, you need a new trade route. Or to renew your trade route. This is going to also put the pressure for them to convert to Tengrealism. Meanwhile, my missionary is going to come down here. And do one of these. Okay. 
Awesome. Plus one global happiness for every two cities following this religion. So I just got a new happiness from that. And next, we are going to take you down to Los Angeles. Okay. One more turn until the Oracle is finished, so... I'm looking forward to that being done. We can get our, a new production project going in Sacramento. Okay. Oracle finished. One free social policy. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's go ahead and adopt that new policy. Discipline. Aesthetics. We could go with aesthetics. Culture increase. Cultural exchange. Um, hmm. Patronage might be the better choice. Organized religion. Yeah, let's just go with the extra production hit there under the Liberty. Under the Liberty tab, that'll be helpful. Late game, especially. Uh, what should we build next? The Colossus? I should have also, while I'm thinking about it, yeah, I did get a nice po uh, point boost for building the Oracle. Lighthouse. Hmm. No reason to build a trade ship. Actually, I do have a reason to build a trade ship. The only thing is... You know what we could build, actually? Is a uh, exploratory. So, a trimeme. Because I'm going to use him as an explorer to uh, sort of get the rest of the borders figured out, meet some new civilizations, and then we can set up uh, some naval trade routes, or at least one of them. Uh... <laughs> Songhai wants me to just give them copper. That's not happening. You can get the hell over that. You're gonna have to get over that big time, buddy. Processing turn for the barbarians. Okay, it's now 450 AD. Turn 133. Uh, missionary, you spread that religion, son. Okay, cool. So a couple new cities in my empire. We've got the religion going, which is nice. We're one of the first, at least we're the first uh, civilization that we know of to spread this religion. These new religious ideas. Drama and poetry is about to finish up, so we're about to enter the medieval era. After this trimeme is done, I need to get, done, I need to get a horseman or two built out while I still have forces in my trade agreement. 26 turns left. What is Awesome. Voice of the people that may be of use. All right. Um, so you're gonna be now an explorer for me. Go for it. I'll put you on automation. Let you do your thing, buddy. Horseman. We'll build that next. After we build like two horsemen, I think that's a pretty decent military size. I don't really have a lot of melee units, so. Uh, because I do have three composite bowmen. Choose research. The workshop. Or the forge. Dun dun dun. Uh, civil service, potentially. Because we do get to upgrade to pikemen. Huh. Actually, I'm going to go with the metal casting. That's okay. City connection established between Los Angeles and San Fran. So now Los Angeles is connected to the capital, technically. So getting it done. Getting it done. Next turn. Walls are about to finish in San Francisco. Parthenon has been built in a faraway land. Someone that we don't know about. Which is interesting. Um... All right, cool. You see the walls have now been built in San Fran. My disagreements with Asuka have become too much to bear. This is a situation that can only be resolved on the battlefield. Will you join me, friend? 
Yes. I think so. Um, Songhai is kind of far away. I'm going to let Venice do all of the heavy lifting. Let them weaken themselves. Even though I do see Venice is winning that war. I feel comfortable with my military at the moment. So now we are uh, at war with Songhai down here. All right, Venice. That's all you, man. They are the weakest faction in the game so far, so... We're just going to have to let that play out. They might be end up getting eliminated, for all we know. Assyria, we don't really have a relationship with. Um, will you take a... Oh, which one doodle? Will you take an embassy? Shooterdi. They do want one gold for 30 turns to accept that embassy. Uh, you're not really that powerful. Like, I'm, like, double your score right now, so I don't need an embassy with you that badly. Uh, Catherine now wants open borders, which is not going to happen. It's the whole idea of having Los Angeles and San Francisco here on this side is to cut the Russians off, man. The Golden Age is now over for us. What's going to be your next project, Los Angeles? Um, the shrine? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. Or the aqueduct or the amphitheater? Let's go to the amphitheater. Helps my culture. And Los Angeles is about to grow to a level 5 city. And our horseman's about to be finished as well. So I think one more horseman might do the trick. We'll have two running around, especially now that we've... Um, no, Catherine. If you want to bring a settler down here and put a city in this area, you are going to be dead mistaken over my dead body. Ma'am. Horsemen, you're going to move down here. So meanwhile, in Sacramento, we want to pump out... One more horseman. Five turns. We can also adopt a new policy. Settlers. 50% in the capital. Free settler appeal appears near the capital, so we'll take that. A free settler. We do have enough happiness to handle it. Um, what if I go ahead and put the city like right here? Get the sheep, the horses, the additional copper. Too bad the whales have gone away over here. Um, or, you know what? We might just tell them to do nothing for this turn. And we can scope out like a cooler city location. This would be heaven on earth down here. A couple of citrus, sugar, and bananas, and truffles. That would piss the Venetians off so bad, though. But, that would be a bold move. We need to think about doing that. You guys tell me what you think. Turn our, sort of backstab the Venetians while they're in a war with uh, Songhai. That would be pretty ridiculous. Alright guys, that's where we're going to go ahead and end the episode. Thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you've enjoyed this content, and we'll catch you again next time.